Hello and welcome back to another interesting episode of Viva Barca, where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news. We start with Vitor Roche. Of course, a few days ago we got reports that you know Atletico Paranense of Brazil have given Barca an ultimatum as to regards with Vitor Roque. But it has been revealed that Barca have not been given any ultimatum by Atletico Paranense over Vitor Roque deal. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about this report, let me that manager Javi held a meeting recently with the sporting directors and they have decided to prioritize going for a new right back this summer. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. After Barcelona lost Ada Guler from Dia Clutches, as Real Madrid swooped in to complete the Turk signing, Murmurs about Vitor Roque also finding complications in embracing the Blaugrana JC began to emerge. Indeed, it was being claimed that the Catalans had been given a 24-hour deadline by Atletico Paranense to send all the requisite documents to complete the transfer amidst interest from Manchester United, PSG and Tottenham. However, as per, the, as per Joaquin Piera of Sport, Barcelona have little reason to worry as Vitor Roque will end up joining the club. The report states that Atletico Paranense have not given an ultimatum to the Catalans to complete the Brazilians' transfer. It is true that Barca feared resistance following the rising interest from Manchester United, Chelsea, PSG, with whom they cannot compete financially. But despite the opportunity of earning triple what he could make at Barcelona, the young striker has not any doubt um, about his desire to join Barcelona. He continues to be a lawyer to the Catalan giants, but as he has been for many months, since Barca and Atletico Paranense reached an agreement in principle for his transfer three weeks ago, Treguinho is aware that his future is set and that he will play for the La Liga champions next season. If there is a salary margin to sign him up immediately, he will join this summer. Otherwise, the option to start working on January 2024 is also on the table. To further add weightage to his seemingly imminent arrival, sport consulted sources at Atletico Paranense, who refuted reports that the, the Cubita club have given Barca a 24-hour deadline to conclude the operation. Of course, I think this will come as a relief to many Barca fans because the reports came out yesterday saying that, you know, Atletico Paranense have given Barca 24-hour ultimatum to wrap up things, to send the formal documents, to send the final documents, you know, for signatures or else they will sell they will sell Vitor Rocket to the Premier League or other clubs showing interest across Europe. But Barca are cool. They are not in any panic as those reports are all lies. They are saying that nothing has happened such as that. The club haven't given any ultimatum. I think the rumor mill just came out with this because Barca are from a heartbreak, losing out on Ada Guler to Ash rivals Real Madrid. And of course, this was another kind of rumor just to shaking things up. But there is nothing like that as sources within the club themselves have revealed that there is no such ultimatum. Vitor Roque is a Barca bound player and Barca are not worried about that. Everything will be done. Of course, it's true that Barca have not 100% done the deal yet. It's already 90% done. Now, the final documents need to be sent to the Brazilian club for signatures and everything like that to sort out everything and to complete the transfer 100%. Vitor Roque have always made his desire clear that he wants only Barcelona, just Barca. No matter the offer that other clubs are coming, even if you want to triple the salary or triple the transfer fee, Vitor Roque has already said it that he wants to play for Barcelona no matter what. And so the, he is the one who has the yam and the knife. He is the one who makes the final decision. Even if Atletico Paranense were 
were in negotiation with clubs like United, Chelsea, PSG. At the end, the player will refuse because he has already made it clear on multiple occasions that he wants nothing but joining Barca. He has been a Barca fan for a long time, from all indications, and he has always been an admirer of the great players that Barca have brought, especially the players from Brazil, the uncountable stars who have played from Brazil at Barcelona. And of course, the player is really, really strong in their interest. So the deal will be done. So Barcelona, one thing that we are still not sure of is if the player will play this summer. He will come this summer or he will come but in January. But they are saying that it all depends on the financial states, the state of affairs at the club's finances. If Barca think that there is space in the wage bill to go ahead with his registration, then he will be a player this summer. But if not, then Barca will only book him and take him in the January transfer window so that within this time he can continue playing there while waiting for Barca to take him in the January transfer window. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. According to a report from Sport, Barcelona held a transfer meeting earlier today with all key figures such as directors Deco, Matteo Alemani and manager Xavi Hernandez participating the transfer window so far and the roadmap for what lies ahead was discussed during the meeting. It was agreed upon that at least two players from the team need to leave in order to comply with financial fair play situation. You know, um, beyond that, it was also decided that the signing of a pivot midfielder was the utmost priority right now. Along with it, the, the Barca manager and the other officials also came to an agreement that the club need to sign a right back and it is decided that they will go after a player to strengthen the position this summer, the right back slot has been cause of concern for Barcelona for some time. Given the issues last season, manager Xavi Hernandez was forced to use Jules Conde as a makeshift in that position, a role in which the Frenchman did well. However, he does not wish to continue operating at right back, which leaves Sergio Roberto as the only concrete option, along with Julian Araujo, who could be so. As such, Barcelona have now decided that they will go after a right back concretely, something that was not a, was not given in the past. Ivan Fresneda has been identified as a target with director Deco even meeting with the 18-year-old's agent recently. The Real Valladolid ace has a release clause worth 20 million in his contract, but Barca are not prepared to offer more than 10. Jao Cancelo is another player that Barca have on their agenda. However, the club can only afford to sign him on loan. That too, if City Outcast agrees to lower his salary. So it remains to be seen who La Liga champions Barca go after. But as things stand, a new right back will be arriving at Barcelona. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.